In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way to get your local business added to Google Maps. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Following best practices for SEO is a surefire way to get your website to rank higher in Google. But what if you want your business to rank higher, your physical business? So what we're talking about here is if someone did a search for tacos in the Atlanta area, we're talking about having your business show up here or even with more detail here. So you have the name of your business, the address, the hours, all of this information. The problem is you can't just throw this information on your website and have it magically show up here in Google Maps. You have to communicate it to Google in a specific format, which means you have to write a lot of code unless you use the all-in-one SEO plugin with the local SEO add-on. This combination makes it super easy to add your business to Google Maps. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says activate plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down this page, there's a spot for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the downloads tab. And then next to where it says license key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the license key field. Click connect. And that's it. All-in-one SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the dashboard link just so we're all on the same page. So this is a pro feature of All-in-One SEO. So you're going to need a pro plan or above. But again, if you have a local business, it's well worth it. So once you have the All-in-One SEO plugin installed, head on over to the AIO SEO menu on the left. And you're going to click on the link that says Feature Manager. And then from there, you're simply going to turn on and activate the feature called Local Business SEO. So over here on the top right, it says Local Business SEO. We're going to toggle the switch from deactivated to activated. And then to get into the Local Business SEO setting, you could click the Manage link here. But you could also go in under the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click the Local SEO link. So this local SEO add-on is a pretty powerful feature, does lots of different things, but today we're just going to focus on how to add your business to Google Maps. So on the tabs up top, make sure you're on the Locations tab. Below that, we have this Location Settings section, and this is speaking to how you would want to display a map of your business on your website if you embedded a map. We're not going to talk about that in today's video. We're going to scroll down to the Business Info section. So this is where you communicate your business info to Google. So going with the taco restaurant example, I'm going to put in the name of my business here. And then below that, I can put in an image to represent my business in Google Maps. So I'm going to select an image from my computer and I'm going to use this demo image here. And then below that, you can select the type of business. There's a bunch of different types of businesses here. I'm going to say this is a food establishment and then we can enter the address.
And below that, you can pick the address format because different countries have different address formats. Here in the United States, it's first address line, second line, city, state, zip, and then country. Below that, it's talking about an API key for the map. You don't have to worry about that for submitting your business info to Google. This is for displaying maps on your website. Google will not let you display maps without an API key, even here within our plugin. We have another video that talks all about this, but for the purposes of this video, you don't need to worry about the map. You can just leave that section alone. Below that, you have contact info, and none of these fields are required. So if you don't want people emailing you about your business, you could leave the email blank and just put in phone numbers. Maybe as a taco restaurant, you don't have a fax number. You could leave that blank. You don't have a VAT ID because you're an American business, not European. Maybe you don't want your tax ID in Google Maps. And then you can decide how to indicate your price. I'm going to use $1 sign because we are an affordable taco restaurant. You can choose your currency. Again, you don't have to, but you can choose your currency. I'm going to say cash and credit for payment methods accepted. And then for the areas served, we're going to say Southern California. Hit the big blue Save Changes button and you're done. So that's how to get your local business added to Google Map. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to create an XML sitemap for your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.